Some people can say evil things about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, claiming evil things about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the same punishment can happen to them. As the ayah clearly says, that everything will be recorded, and they will be said to them, taste the blazing fire, the punishment of the blazing fire. So we need to protect our tongues from saying anything that is bad or evil, even if it's joking, making fun of things, ridiculing things in the religion of Allah. This is as if someone is ridiculing the creator of the heavens and the earth because the religion of Allah is the words of Allah, the, the orders of Allah. So how can a person ridicule something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most high, ordered? When people ridicule hijab, for example, or uh, uh, anything that the Prophet ﷺ ordered, even if they think that it's something small, the beard, for example, the Prophet ﷺ said to the people, ordered the people to do such a thing. So how can a person ridicule this? Even the siwak, as the ulama they say. If the Prophet ﷺ ordered his ummah to use the siwak before every wudu and before every salah, this is part of the deen. So if somebody would make fun of uh, anything, even if it's they think it's a small sunnah or so, this is an act of kufr, an act of disbelief. So the words that comes of from one's mouth is something that is very important for us to watch what we say. And we should not say, I, I don't mean this or mean that. Uh, it doesn't matter whether a person means one thing or the other. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us with having sound minds to be able to think and make decisions before we speak. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't punish someone that is insane, for example. But someone has the intellect and the ability to know what is right and what is wrong, then we have to be watchful. Lying, the Prophet والسلام, said in the authentic hadith, Wailullah, 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 liman kathaba liyudhik al-nas. Woe to him three times. For the one that lies,